Welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the show. We're here today on our Friday review of the Cabral Concept. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I appreciate you, as always, tuning into the show, reviewing the show on iTunes or your favorite media player, and, of course, sharing it with anyone that you feel it could serve. Today on our Friday review, we've got a lot to cover. We're going to go over, of course, the updates, what's been going on over the past week. I feel like, and I enjoy this, I actually like this, I feel like I live like three or four weeks inside of one week. I'm sure you've probably felt the same before. Uh, I also love going on, uh, telling you about what we have going on over at Equal Life because it's always something new. Everything's always changing. And we love being able to share our favorite things with you. I'll do our podcast recap in case you missed any shows for the week. Maybe you want to go back and check them out. And then today, I've got a brand new book review. I actually have sometimes have no idea how I get sent these books or purchase these books or why, but I am glad that I got this one here today and I will review it here with you. And then ongoing for all of 2022, I'll be doing a nutrient or herb of the week. So back two years ago, and I'm going to be putting together this webpage, so stay tuned for the Friday reviews. Uh, we went through 50 different uh, vitamins, minerals, nutrients before. So what I'm going to do is create one big webpage, hyperlinking to all of those Friday reviews that's going to show share with you the ins and outs of every vitamin and mineral so you can learn more about them. And then I'll do that with our herb or nutrient of the week as well. Okay, so that's coming. And then two research studies, the first one on vitamin D linked to acne. So we're going to check that out. Good and bad, by the way. And then also uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids in some mental health disorders in young adults. I couldn't find that I brought you this study. It just, it didn't come out that long ago. I actually have the link right here uh, a couple months ago in the um, uh, basically Journal of Psychiatry. So I'm gonna send that along to you as well. Now, if I went over it with you a couple months back, uh, this will just be then a reiteration, but I haven't seen it. And I just want to make sure that you know about this because it's just so important for our children and teenagers and all of the different stresses they have in their own life and how an imbalance makes it even worse. All right. So we're going to go over that research really straightforward, by the way, and uh, and how you can make sure that your kids or nieces, nephews, students, et cetera, are, are doing okay. All right. Updates for the week starting here. Uh, it's, it was an amazing January. It really was. It was our biggest functional medicine detox to date. We had about 10,000 people join the detox space community uh, doing, maybe it was their 11th functional medicine detox. Maybe it was their first. Some people did seven days, some 14, some 21. But the truth is that everybody was looking to take just a little bit more control of their health and their body. And, and really, uh, and I think that this is the year. I really believe that. I think We've been through a lot. We realize that maybe, just maybe, natural health plays a bigger role than we believe in our overall immunity and health. And this is the year to take control of that. I just honestly believe that. And our, our IHPs came out really in full force and we're promoting it with their communities, which of course, I appreciate it. I think it's amazing. And for anybody new listening to the podcast that came in through the detox, you know, I just commend you. I'm proud of the work that you did. Not everybody would do this, that is for sure. And I have no doubt you're feeling even better now. Uh, if you have no idea what a functional medicine detox is, I have a free course on it. You can check it out at, let me actually see if this is the link. You know, I always say, head on over to, but let's actually just make sure that this is the link, stephencabral.com detox dash course. I don't know if it's the link. Let's check it out. Let's see if it is. No, it's not the link. Okay. Head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash courses. That's the best place to go. stephencabral.com forward slash courses. And I bet there's going to be one there saying 
the Achieve Equilibrium Detox course. Well, that's the one. Click on View Course. It's completely free. Yours free. You'll learn more about functional medicine detoxification, and um, and I highly recommend it. I really do. It's the number one thing we do in our practice, and of course, um, I would love to share that with you. Okay. What do we have going on besides that? What's going on over at Equal Life? Again, you, you know that I love bringing you my favorite things. Well, lo and behold, we just happened to have, uh, and again, we always have the, something fun going on, but we really, we, I think we, well, this was a full team effort. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to put it any other way. It took every single person on our team, and there's like 50 of us now. It's it's pretty amazing how the company has grown and the community has grown, and everybody worked to make this happen. But we are out there now um, sharing our longevity and anti-aging baseline with the world. It's 15 different products. This is a full anti-aging and longevity line. It has everything from the, uh, let's see if I can grab it here. If you're watching this on video, of course, you can watch it at uh, stephencabral.com forward slash 2191 today or right on YouTube. But we have something called the Clinical Strength Advanced Renewal System. Why is it called Clinical Strength? It is because it actually is backed by science. So we can say that, which is really nice. And the, it contains two products called the Cell Boost, right? So what does that do? Increases energy through what? Well, improving your mitochondrial function. And then it comes with another one called Inflamasooth, which does what? Well, it helps with healthy levels of inflammation. When you combine the two, what do you do? Well, you stave off so much of the aging process and actually start to grow younger. Again, this is scientifically proven. We're not coming up with these things out of thin air. You may have heard about people like David Sinclair, uh, Andrew Humerin, and others talking about how nutrients such as uh, astragalus, NMN, transverse veritrol, PQQ, uh, quercetin, all of these things have been shown now to increase lifespan. So that's really what we're trying to do, help people not only live a longer life, but a better quality of life. That's really what it's all about. And then we've got, again, not just those two products, but 13 other products that have to do with uh, boosting testosterone naturally, boosting estrogen naturally, boosting progesterone naturally, DHEA, helping with healthy levels of glucose with our daily glucose support, advanced prostate support for the prostate. We've got our daily brain support. We've got our bone support. We have a whole cardiovascular line. Uh, it's definitely worth checking out. It really is. So head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash longevity. stephencabral.com forward slash longevity. It will take you to our longevity collection. And right now for a very limited time during its debut, you can actually save 15 to 20% off any subscription for life. Now, again, you can cancel anytime. I'm not saying that you can't do that, but right now there will never be a bigger savings on this line than right now. So check it out at stephencabral.com forward slash longevity. All right. Next up, before we get to our book review and our herb of the week and our research, of course, going over a little podcast recap on our Monday show, 2187. Hopefully you checked out that show. Uh, that was a fun show. That was basically one of the powers of thinking big. You know, a lot of times we're like, well, it's going to take the next, uh, this number of years to complete this. And then this will take this long. And we always think like things are going to take so much longer than they necessarily are. And what I shared with you on the show is to start thinking bigger, to start thinking, well, you know, if I have a goal that is going to take a year, is there a way for me to complete in six months? So it's just it's it's just basically saying, how quickly can I complete this? Because it gets the mind thinking, well, okay, well, this would have to happen and this would have to happen and it gets you even more excited. So it's a thought exercise. I would love you to check out that show, 2187. All podcasts, of course, are at stephencabral.com forward slash podcasts. All right, 2188 was the autoimmune conditions that so many people are suffering from and how it is directly linked to a specific diet. Check this out, please. Definitely check it out. Autoimmune issues and diets and what the big discovery is. Uh, an interesting one I felt was a specific peptide. Technically, it's part of the endocrine system, which is pretty amazing, and it's called PYY. And I shared with you how to increase that naturally, literally naturally with a certain type of macronutrient. I go over that in the show and it will help you curb your cravings, right? So it's not going to help you curb your cravings and your hunger naturally so that you just eat 
normal amount of food that you need for your body, that you're not overly hungry all the time. All right. And then yesterday's show was a children's health case study on home lab testing. So um, I've done maybe about 10 of these now, maybe 12, and it is for everyone. It's not just for our IHPs. I'm sure it will help our IHP level twos, um, but I want you to know that when you run children's lab tests, they're not always going to look the same as adults because children are not just small adults. That's not how it works. Uh, the body is not fully developed until it goes through puberty, which means that there are different tissue stores in the body. And I explained that on this lab test. This lab test was an interesting case study. It was with a four-year-old and uh, I would love you to check that out. That is me literally going through a lab and making it real world, really easy to understand, just like your health coach, uh, your level two IHP would take you through. Okay. So that was our podcast podcast recap of the week. Now let's go over a book that I'm glad I was, uh, again, that I either purchased or was sent. It's hilarious. I have stacks of books. So I'm looking at a stack of books. So I have bookshelves. I have, I'm very fortunate enough to have multiple offices. Uh, I have my house um, that I, I'm allowed to keep a couple books there so it doesn't get unruly. And, uh, and then I have, I have my office. So this office, I have a stack of books on a counter, and it, it it has to be 25. So that's my books I haven't read yet. So uh, out of that, I pick a couple a week to read. I mean, that's it. So that's the nice thing. If you have a bunch of books there waiting for you, if you're not into like the book that you pr just purchased, you're like, oh, well, I'll just put that in the stack, and then I'm going to purchase this big stack. And then I always say, I'm, you're not allowed to order more books until this stack goes down to like you know five or six or so. All right, so the book that I just read was called Wire Your Brain for Confidence, The Science of Conquering Self-Doubt. Now, I read this because we are now officially teaching our first and last mastery class of 2022. So we're doing one class this year. Uh, this book is by Louisa Jewell. And um, I love teaching mastery. This is, I think, the third time that we've taught it. Fourth time, excuse me. And uh, I'm sure, well, I know why I read this book. And that is to get my mind in the right place again in order to help our mastery students that are taught how to overcome the biggest challenges and obstacles in their life, uh, become a certified life coach as well, and then also help their most challenging clients to overcome the obstacles in their path. So this was an excellent read. It really was. And this is for anyone. It's 200 pages. I'm telling you, 200 pages is the perfect length for a book. Um, I couldn't make the rain barrel effect 200 pages, but technically it is. So it's two books in one, the rain barrel effect, right? So the first half is, this is why we get sick. And the second half is, this is how you get well. So I, I justify it that way saying it's 400 pages, but it's two books. So, so, but the funny thing is if I ever write another book, uh, I've got a lot of books in my head, but you know, it's just the, the time to write them is the tough part. Cause I, I like to write my own books. Uh, but here's the thing. 200 pages, it's, it's the perfect amount to get through. It's going to take you like three weeks maximum, maximum, if you're just reading 10 pages a day. So here's the thing. This book is called Wire Your Brain for Confidence, The Science of Conquering Self-Doubt. And this book is easy to read, short chapters, which I love. Uh, and let me just take you a little bit through it, okay? So it, the first introduction is why women need, <clears throat> excuse me, why women need to rule the world, all right? Second one was how self-doubt was ruining my life and what I did about it, why everyone is plagued with self-doubt, how, how to motivate yourself to conquer self-doubt, how to say yes when your brain is saying no, uh, build confidence muscles, so great exercises in there, like great things to do, uh, what to do when you fall, how to embrace failure, seeing to believe, surround yourself with the right people, use your body and emotions as power, that was a big one, and then the, obviously now it's your turn. But they give you just, again, simple tips, and this is just one little page, so it's like talking about and I talk about this all the time on Mindset of Motivation Mondays. You need to talk gentler to yourself. You need to talk kinder to yourself. I try to teach that to my oldest daughter all the time. I'm like, listen, you have to talk nicely to yourself. Like you have to be gentle with yourself and with other people. And she's an amazing human being. She's super kind. She's super sensitive. But since she is one of, again, some people, there's nature and there's nurture, right? We raised our daughters the same way. And there is a part to nature. And she's always been very sensitive. And she takes kind of all that into her body. And sometimes it can be very overwhelming for her. So I just try to sit down with her and I just say, listen, 
be kind to yourself. She's always kind to others. She really is. But she takes all of that in. It can be very overwhelming. And, and I try to just say to her this is like, listen, you know, we have to be gentle with ourselves. The words that we say matter. They reinforce what we believe in ourselves. And so um, I'm not going to go too deep into it. I was going to give you kind of some statements, but you know, uh, Louisa Hare goes through basically should statements. Oh, I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't have said that. I should be doing this. I should be doing more. And it goes through the want statements. No, this is who I'm trying to become. This is what I want. And it's, so it's, it's really, really nice. This is more of a workbook. I love workbooks. And um, that's that. All right, I'm going to link it up today, stephencabral.com forward slash 2191. But I definitely give it a uh, great review. And I'm sure I will review it on Amazon. All right. Because you have to pay it forward. You really do. If you read, if you, if you like an article, if you like a YouTube video, if you like a podcast, if you like a book, review it for that author, review it for that person. It's like uh, authors don't get paid really any money. I don't, I didn't know. I don't know if you know that they might make a dollar a book. Like honestly, uh, no author, unless you're selling like a millions of books, are you getting, you know, rich off books? People, people write books in my opinion, because they have a, they have a need to teach. Okay. So authors just, love getting the virtual love and high fives through giving them a a five-star review. And so obviously I'm going to do that for our friend here, Louisa Jewell. All right. Well, we have our herb or nutrient of the week because sometimes I don't want it to just be a plant, but it can be a nutrient that comes from plants. And that today is lutein and zeaxanthin. All right. I had to bring you this today because one of my favorite products, no doubt about it, I've talked about this like over and over now, so I'm sure you heard me say about it or talk about it, it's called the Daily Vision and Eye Health product. And why? Is because here we are staring at our phones and our computer screens how often per day? Four hours per day? Five hours per day? Eight hours per day? 12 hours? I don't know. You know, it's, it's so many hours now. So our eyes are extremely sensitive. These small little capillaries that feed the eyes can also become inflamed. There can be free radical damage inside of our eyes, leading to things like macular degeneration, age-related macular degeneration, cataracts. It can lead, uh, we can have blood sugar issues that affect our eyes called diabetic uh, retin- retino. <laughs> retinopathy, apologies. That word just flows off the tongue. Uh, and just a lot of overall inflammation of the eyes themselves. But the other thing is, when there, so there's two nutrients that really help the eyes, okay? Lutein and zeaxanthin. You've heard me talk about them on previous podcasts. What I want to do is just let you know that these are plant pigments, typically yellow pigments in plants, fruits, and vegetables, kind of with that yellowish, orangey, reddish-based hue. And what they do is they are powerful antioxidants. Now, these antioxidants, though, that's the interesting thing about certain antioxidants, they actually kind of go right to the eyes, meaning like they know to help the eyes. It's amazing how that works. Now, they also help the skin, okay? So they help the skin. But if you're talking about lutein and zeaxanthin, you bring that up to a you know a, a biochemist or um, someone who studied nutritional biochemistry before, they're like, oh, yeah, that, that's been scientifically proven to help the eyes, eyesight, aging eyes, uh, and, and the skin as well. So here's the thing. Uh, this is clinically proven, by the way. This is all clinically proven, and uh, it's very easy to do your research and look these up. I'll link up a couple studies for you here today at 2191. Um, but what I want to do is just make sure that you understand that the clinical dosage for these, so if someone puts in like, let's say, you know, five micrograms, it's not going to do anything. It's called a little dusting as we call it in the industry. What you really want is somewhere between between 10 and 20 milligrams of lutein. All right. And you want between, well, let's just, about two milligrams is the study dose of zeaxanthin. That's clinically proven to help your eyes. Like it's clinically proven. So that's why I just like to go by the science and say, hey, would you like a product that's backed up by research? That's what it's all about. So keep in mind, lutein, zeaxanthin, amazing for the eyes. And the, the side benefit is the skin. So it gives the skin a nice glow as well. So use any product in the world that you like with that dosage that hopefully comes from a uh, clean extract or clean company. And uh, the one that I love, of course, is the Daily Vision and Eye Health because it's not just those two powerful antioxidants. Uh, it's actually Makai Berry, Ginkgo Biloba Extract, Bilberry, Lutein, Zeaxanthin, and Astaxanthin, which is just as powerful, if not more powerful, though, than those as an antioxidant. So this contains 20 milligrams of 
lutein because surprise, surprise, it goes by the highest level of research and the four milligrams of zeaxanthin because we want to make sure that you're getting clinical results. So that's why I love this product. But again, um, use any company that you love with that uh, lutein and zeaxanthin if you want to protect your eyes. Okay. Two research studies for the day. We are going to go over the first one. This is interesting to me because, again, you know that I want to bring you all of the unbiased science. And by that, I mean real science, meaning like I don't cherry pick the science just to back up my side of the story, right? So you know I'm a big believer in vitamin D. What's the best source of vitamin D in the world? The best source of vitamin D in the world is the sun. But so many people are afraid of the sun because they've been told that if they get sunlight on their skin, they're going to get skin cancer. That is a vicious rumor and myth perpetuated by many dermatologists and medical doctors, but that's not actually true. What happens is the body can be unbalanced in terms of the immune system. You can um, have low levels of vitamin D, believe it or not, which affects the immune system, or maybe you get a sunburn and yes, that affects the skin, no doubt about it, but getting an actual tan, now a lot of people don't want to do that because it can lead to wrinkles. Well, that, that part is actually true, but that's also how you get your vitamin D. D. So a lot of people aren't going to get sun. I, I'm not able to push against the tide, right? That's not a that's not a battle that I could possibly win. The tide's going to win every single day, twice a day, right? So here's the thing, though. What we can do is we can substitute the sun. It's not an even substitute, but we can take vitamin D. That's something we can do. Now, most people, vitamin D helps with their skin. That's the amazing thing. But some people, it actually causes acne. And you might say to yourself, why would it cause acne when it's really been proven to help the skin? Here's why. And, and that's why, again, I like to bring you the more obscure research. Some people, when their dose of vitamin D, which is a fat-soluble nutrient, fat-soluble vitamin, is too high, it can actually increase testosterone. And you might say, well, I want to increase testosterone. Okay, maybe you do. Well, vitamin D helps with that. There's no doubt about it. However, testosterone increase has actually been shown to increase acne. Okay, so here's what we want to look at. If you are acne prone due to hormonal issues and you're taking a higher dose of vitamin D, it's not really the, the vitamin D's fault. You want to make sure that you're taking your uh, something like the daily nutritional support, which has vitamin K in it. You also want to make sure you're taking some magnesium so it can actually get to where it's supposed to. But also, the dosage may just be too high for you. So what I recommend is if you are acne prone and you're adding vitamin D in, like a liquid vitamin D uh, that's 1,000 IUs per drop, you just start week one with one drop a day. All right, so 1,000 IUs, not a lot, but you start with 1,000 IUs a day. Okay, and then no, no acne from that because you're keeping all the other variables the same. Okay, then you go to 2,000 IUs the next week. If that works well, again, this is, let's say, in your adult, you might eventually work up each week by one drop per day, which is 4,000 IUs total, and that's a good amount for most adults who are not getting a regular tan. If that works for you, great, but let's say you find out you really your dose that you can handle is 2,000 IUs. Okay, well, then that's what you're going to be able to do, at least for now. And you may want to just run a vitamin D test at home to be able to see your vitamin D levels to make sure you're between 50 and 70. I think it's nanograms per deciliter, okay? So it's just, it's between 50 and 70, though, not the, the last <laughs> ending suffix on that. So... Um, I don't, you can find the uh, vitamin D lab test if you don't have access to it at stephencabral.com forward slash labs. All right. I wanted to share that with you. Keep that in mind. Something to think about now. And again, cause just, cause remember everything has an underlying root cause. So we just found one more. All right. Here's some new research. Uh, all of these are, are basically just a few months old. Uh, this one is blood levels of polyunsaturated fatty acids might be associated with mental health disorders in young adults. So a large imbalance of omega-6s to omega-3 polyunsaturated fats in the Western diet contributes to inflammation and chronic disease. There is now a growing body of evidence that the role of low-grade inflammation in the development of mental health disorders. This research study looked at the association between poly Polyunsaturated fatty acids in adolescence and early adulthood with, with psychotic disorder, depressive disorder, and generalized anxiety disorder. All right, ages 17 to 24 years old, but I would certainly say you could look at this even younger. And it looked at uh, omega-6s to omega-3s. Now, here's the thing. 
they found that the lower the omega-3s, the higher the omega-6 to omega-3 ratio, the more mental health disorders there were. And the association was somewhere between like one and three mental health disorders, the higher the omega-6s to omega-3s were. So not an ideal thing. But again, this is where a lot of the, uh, well, the people trying to do good in the world, but they're just misinterpreting research. So they lump omega-3s, which by the way are a polyunsaturated fatty acid, uh, with omega-6s, which are also a polyunsaturated. So when you look at that, you're like, oh, polyunsaturated fatty acids are, are bad. No, no. Actually, the omega-3s in essentially every study ever done on omega-3s for mental health has shown that they've improved. Everything from low mood, um, depression, uh, anything cognitively and mood-based, like almost 100% across the board. So we have to di- we have to begin to everything's nuanced, right? We can't lump all polyunsaturated in the whole uh the whole uh, basket, right? They, they don't all go together. Omega-6 is inflammatory, omega-3 is more anti-inflammatory. You just have to find the balance. That's it. So if you want to run your own omega-3 levels, which I just can't recommend enough, if you think your diet's providing you enough omega-3s, I would say think again, only because I've run over 10,000 of these labs. Uh, but you can just, again, you, you don't need to guess. You can figure it out for yourself. Head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash labs and run the omega-3 and inflammation test. It will show you your children or your omega-3 levels, and then it will tell you exactly how much omega-3 you need based on your current diet. All right, so hopefully this was helpful. Again, I will link up the research at stephencabral.com forward slash 2191. In this day and age, there's no longer a need to guess. We can figure it out and uh, we're always happy to answer your questions. Thank you so much. Have an amazing weekend. I'll be back tomorrow answering your questions on our Cabral House Calls. Take care. Thanks so much, as always, for tuning into the show. It means the world to me to see this community continue to grow, and I have you to thank for that. Well, making good on our promises. This is our second major game-changing debut in the same month in January to start off the new year, and that is with our longevity line. This is a true science-based, researched, longevity-based line that took over 12 months of research and formulation. It covers everything from our advanced renewal system, which is state-of-the-art mitochondrial boosters and natural inflammation balancers. Plus, we have our new daily hair support, which rivals any of the best hair DHT blockers and hair regrowth formulas on the market. Again, all based in science. We have our cardiovascular line, which helps with cardiovascular issues, blood pressure issues, uh, and in more in order to develop a nice, strong, healthy, vascular, and heart-based balance. We also have our new natural hormones-based line. This means if you have low testosterone, we can help you boost that naturally. Low progesterone, low estrogen, we can help you boost that naturally. Low DHEA, we can help you give that a boost as well amazing hormone baseline. We also then have our daily bone support. We have our advanced CoQ10. We have our daily glucose support. We have our daily vision and eye health product, which is sure to become one of our top ones out there, especially with how much we all view our computers and phones every single day. I can't go through it all right now, but again, there are so many amazing products that again are game changers. I've been using many of these in all sorts of different formulations, typically taking three or four different products to just get some of the nutrients in like a product like Cell Boost for the mitochondria for anti-aging for the last three years. I'm happy to debut these and they are all 20% off for life right now over at Equalife. Head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash longevity to see the entire line. Let us know if there's any questions. There's also a video on every single page explaining what that product is. Take advantage of it. 20% off for life over at stephencabral.com forward slash longevity.